Okay, so today I'm installing keyless entry into this 1997 Nissan Altima, and I bought the cheapest um, unit I could get. I paid um, $13 shipped on eBay for this, and it consists of a box and a harness, electronic box and a harness. That black box there is, um, that right there is what it comes with, and then the harness that plugs into it. I'm in the process of wiring this up. Um, basically, on this Ultima, your first thing you're going to want to do is there's going to be a um, plastic cover that goes across the shins of the driver. Take that plastic cover off, get it out of there, and that's going to be two Phillips head screws to remove that. Then you're going to want to remove this collision plate, this um, heavy steel plate. It's held on by six, I think. Um, 10 millimeter bolts you're going to want to remove that and take it out of the way that's going to give you access to the wiring and stuff that you need on the inside so this is the this module here is the door lock control module it mounts behind the computer this is the computer or body control module probably so they they mount up each of them have two bolts this one mounts first and then this one mounts in front of it. So you got to loosen this one first, get it out of the way, and then loosen this one and drop it down. Now you have access to the wires that you need. Um, I got the schematics online, and I wrote down um, a list of colors between the, the new um, unit that I'm installing and the uh, door lock control module, and uh, mapped them. And um, I will give that description, um, the mapping, in the description of this video. But this installation is not too bad. Um, you do have to make a, a ground connection on the back wall there. Um, uh, three wires have to be grounded in, in this particular installation, and um, I put it on a lug nut, a, a lug, um, a lug connector, and I soldered it on and crimped it on, and then I uh, used an extra nut and left the original nut on there that's holding the, um, I guess it's the brake uh, power booster. I left it on and, and just added a nut for the ground. Uh, the power is connected directly in the harness, and it is this wire. Well, where is he? This wire right here, the the white one. That one right there. That's the that's the 12 volt. That's where I'm getting a 12 volt supply. Uh, after that, um, you've got an, uh, a lock and unlock signal that go to this module, and basically it's going to be the same as the switch on the door to lock and unlock. Um, I tried to hook it up with the key switch. Um, there's two wires you're supposed to be able to hook up, one for the key switch and one for the unlock sensor um, so that you could get a little bit better control on the unlocking, but it didn't work. It worked one time and didn't work after that, so I disconnected it and, and just connected directly to the unlock switch and that works fine. Uh, the difference is um, one push unlocks all the doors now instead of just the driver's door, and I can live with that. Um, so for more information, like I said, for the wiring mapping, uh, look in the description. Hope this helps somebody.